Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from checkit.com here with the Sony Vegas tutorial on Effects Friday. And today it's on a subject that a lot of people wanted to know about when they were watching my vlogs. There's been a few times when I create a really cool looking time lapse in my vlogs. And so I figured that I'd make a tutorial about that today. Because in my next vlog that I'm editing right now, there happens to be a time lapse involved with it of us playing basketball. What is a time lapse? You guys might be wondering. Well, I will tell you. The GoPro takes a picture every half a second, every second, every two seconds at an interval of time that you decide. Side, and I think I decided uh, one or two seconds. I, I I think it's one second now that I look at this. And you end up having this massive folder of just tons of pictures that are very high quality. What I'm going to show you guys today is how to take these pictures and put them into Sony Vegas and make a work of art out of it. And <laughs> look at this picture. This picture is really funny. <laughs> Oh goodness, please leave a like because it helps out so much. Also, make sure that you leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And if you want, you guys can check out my newest vlog. The video I released today is actually something called Ask Eli, which is something where I take all your guys' questions and I answer them. If you guys want to know more about me and actually some of your user submitted questions, go check it out. And also leave a comment on that video telling me what you want me to answer next week. Next week is more about to check it. And I, I did that on purpose. I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions on whatever you guys want to ask me. So yeah, go check it out. And with that, now we can get started. So first of all, we're going to select all these pictures. So click on the top left picture, scroll all the way down, hold shift and click on the bottom picture. An easier shortcut for that is just clicking anywhere in this blank area and then hit controller command A to select them all. And then let's go into Sony Vegas and I'm gonna make this easy for you guys. Let's just go file, new, and let's just create a new composition. I'm going to make mine 1920 by 1080, that's full 1080p, basically 30 frames per second. It doesn't need to be 30 frames. And I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna go up to view, window layouts, I'm going to go down to default layout just so you guys can see how I get my interface looking because a couple of you guys asked that. Normally I don't deal with the master fader so I just click out of that and I also don't deal with this one either because when you're dealing with time lapses there's no real need for a master fader but if you're doing regular editing I would definitely use a master fader so you're not clipping your final video. So something really cool about Sony Vegas is that normally you can just drag and drop these pictures into here and they'll be just fine. However, you'll notice that there's an issue with doing this right now. If you just drag and drop them straight in right now, each picture will be around 5 seconds and you'll just have this crazy long video. So how we want to import our pictures is, we want to go up to Options, Preferences, we're going to go up to Editing, and where it says New Still Image Length, we want to change that to .033. And I already did this because I've been doing, you know, time lapses for a while there. Also, you want to make sure that the automatically crop still images is turned off. And there's a reason for that that I'll tell you guys later. But anyway, make it .033 and hit OK. And now we'll drag our pictures in. And you'll notice that we have a much more manageable size of a video. Drag this onto here. You can zoom out and you'll see that our video is around, what is that? Grab them all, Let's just click and drag it to the beginning. That's about a, what, 28 second video? Yeah, around 28 seconds. As you can tell, this video wasn't that long, but we can change that, guys. It's very easy. So now that we have our video in here, you can tell that there's these big black bars, and most people would want to avoid that, and they'd want to turn on the automatically still cropping. But there's a reason why I want to keep the entire video in frame. So let's double click on the entire video, and zoom in, and make sure that we're getting the entire looped region rendered. So right now I'm just making sure that this wasn't selected somewhere over here. Alright, perfect. It's entirely selected now. Now we can go up to File, Render As, and let's actually just click on Browse. I see this is the last Ask Eli. I'm going to go to Day 10, Time Lapse, and I'm just going to call this Main. Click Save. I'm using Main Concept AVC slash AAC, and this is just basically MP4. And I'm going to use my 1080p setting. I'm going to click Customize the Template just to show you guys. So here's my settings. Everything is pretty much normal up until here, but the maximum BPS is at 28 million and the average BPS is at 20 million. And I'm rendering using CUDA if possible because I can use CUDA and it renders way faster that way. Audio doesn't really matter right now and everything else is normal. So now I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit render. 
and we want to make sure that it is at 1080p because we want to be able to zoom in on this video later. So I'm just going to let this thing render and I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, now I'm just going to hit close. And at this point, I'm actually just going to start a new project and not even save this because this is going to slow down my entire project right now. And that's also why I just did it in an untitled Sony Vegas project because this isn't really that important. You guys can always save this if you want, but I have the video and I like it. So I'm just going to hit file new I'm not going to save the changes and i'm actually going to make this one 720p and why i choose 720p now is because i film all of my vlogs in 720p because i don't want the file size to be crazy and i'm filming all day and i don't want it to kill my battery and also for rendering purposes it doesn't take as long to render and also doesn't make the files as large so that, yeah that's why i chose to film in 720p you guys can use 1080 if you want but i'm going to use 720 course all right now what we want to do is we want to find where that video is which is in our time-lapse folder here it is right here I'm gonna click and drag it into here I'm actually just going to delete this bottom volume track and now I'm going to drag this all the way to the front and I'm going to hit spacebar and just to kind of preview it and as you could tell as we're playing it back it is very fast that could either be the effect that you were going for or it could be very annoying and you want to slow it down there's a couple ways to do this but first Let's make this footage presentable. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to size this up a little bit by just dragging these two bars down. Now I'm going to right click on this footage and I'm going to go to properties. And now I'm going to go down to where the resampling is happening and I want to disable the resample. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's not going to get this weird ghosting effect while the video is playing. And now I'm also going to turn from preview auto to best full. And we're just going to watch this real quick. Yeah, that's much better, much more clean. So now what I want to do is I want to get the timing right. So let's say that I want to expand this. I'm going to click and hold control. And if I want to make it a minute, I can just click and drag it all the way out to a minute. And now if we play it back, we'll notice how much longer it is now. But maybe you want it to be faster than 28 seconds. So we'll click and drag it. We only want it to be 20 seconds. We'll click and drag it to 20. Now if we play it back, Look how much faster it is, but just make sure that you're holding control and you go to the very edge or else it won't work. I'm actually just going to drag it out to about 30 seconds and that'll be fine for me. A 30 second time lapse is pretty cool because this was like an hour game. So yeah, kind of sick. So now what we want to do is we want to get rid of these black bars and we want to be able to have motion throughout our entire time lapse because that's really what people want to see. We want to keep them interested. We don't want one still shot. We want to keep them involved through the entire video so what we need to do is we need to click on this little box right here that'll bring up our event panning we want to just take this corner over here and just zoom in and you see now it fills up the entire picture and I have complete control over where I want it to zoom in and see I want it to start you know kind of further back right about here and now I can keyframe too guys so let's go to like 10 seconds and have it zoom in and maybe go up then around 20 seconds have it go out and up some more and then about here I'm gonna bring it back down and maybe just a tad bit zoomed in how cool would that be let's just look I'm gonna click playback well wow, that's looking very interesting See how through the entire video we're getting that motion and it's just never boring. <laughs> That's the biggest trick guys, is just making sure that the audience is always interested in the shot. Oh, and look at that, we had some black bars. Let's go back into here and fix that. So, right around here we were getting some black bars. Okay, I'm going to click on it, just going to move it over. I'm going to play it back. Wow, so cool. So now what we can do is we can actually make this more interesting by adding color corrections. So there's two ways we can do this. We can either do it for the entire video track by clicking this button right here. See the track effects button on the entire track. Or we can just affect it in the actual video. It doesn't matter where I do this, I'll just do it on the actual video right now because I'm feeling frisky. 
<laughs> the freak. So of course the fastest way of doing this would be just going to Magic Bullet Looks, but I'm going to show you guys a very cool way of color correcting your footage just right from the stock Sony Vegas. So let's grab a brightness and contrast, let's grab a Sony color corrector, and let's also grab a Sony cookie cutter. Okay. And now for the cookie cutter, what we want to do is we want to make a vignette, or a viggy as I like to call it. So let's grab the shape, bring it down to oval. Then let's move the size up to around, what, like 347 is fine, that's cool with me. Now let's just feather the absolute crap out of this. And then let's just turn the size up some more. And now we're just getting a very standard vignette on our video, you see that? Very easy, and if you guys want to save this, you can just call it Viggy and click the save button, but I already have a vignette right here called Viggy, so I'm just going to click that one. And you'll see that it's almost exactly the same. Feather 2000, size at 442. Now for brightness and contrasting, this will change depending on any shot that you're using. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm not the boss of you. But I'm just going to crank everything up. Then I'm going to go to the color corrector. And I'm just going to add some basic color correction in. Maybe some uh, kind of vintage toning, so going more towards the red, purpley area. Yeah, look at that. That's actually looking pretty cool. Now if we play it back, look how nifty it looks. You get a very cool looking time lapse. But since I do have Magic Bullet, I might as well use it. I mean, I bought it, so why would I waste my money and not use it, right? Am I right, Hada? So I'm going to click on this button. That's, that's just a quick way to get back to my event presets right here. You see that? So I'm going to go into Magic Bullet Looks, double click it, hit OK, go to Edit. And now let's just grab something that we like. Something that always looks good just so I save time. I'll just grab Blockbuster because I already know that it will look great. Now I'm going to hit Finished. And it automatically looks awesome. Normally I'd spend time and tweak everything, but this wasn't a Magic Bullet Looks tutorial. I've made one of those. If you guys want to watch it, type in Chicha Check It Magic Bullet and you'll find it. Now we have this awesome time lapse that looks beautiful and we can put music to it. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. I have this folder called Copyright Free. It has all my copyright free music within it. I'm just going to use one of these bottom ones that I've used in the past. Let's just use uh, Can You Feel Me? I think that's a pretty cool song. So I'm just going to hit play quick and find a spot that I like. I like that, so I'm actually going to crop it to this point. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm actually going to drag this out here so I have room to work with it. I'm going to zoom in now. I'm actually going to add a little fade to this beginning part by just clicking and dragging. And I also did that with this video as well. Here, I'll just mute this quick. So if I hit play, you see how it's just sharp, it's black, and then if I hit play by hitting the space bar, it just automatically just comes in, it's very crude. If I just go up to the top left corner of this file and click and drag over, you'll see that it's a nice fade in. Nice and easy. So I'm actually going to line this up, maybe uh, stretch that out a little bit, maybe right there, give it a little more, unmute it. Okay, maybe right about there. That's too long of a fade. Okay, that goes too long, so I'm actually just going to crop it all the way. Okay, maybe do it a little bit past. Perfect. Alright, so now I'm going to just double click on this because Sony Vegas uses something called Render Loop Region, which is awesome. You can double click and you see how there's this long stick up here. Basically, you can drag that over and just make sure that within the loop region, then you can go up to File, Render As. For this, I'm going to use my preset for my vlogs, which is just a 720p version of the earlier version. I'll go customize templates so you guys can see. Uh, of course, 29.97, 28 million, 
20 million in a render with CUDA. And also the audio is at 48 for the sample rate and uh, 192 for the BPS, of course. Okay, and now I'm just going to actually go into here. Browse, I already have it rendered right here. Uh, you guys can use whatever you want. But yeah, then you just click save and render and it will render. So thanks for watching guys. I really hope you guys learned something awesome from this tutorial. All these little tips and tricks that I'm showing you guys, it's not how you have to do it for your time lapses, but it's how I do it. And I really hope that you guys can take what I'm teaching you and apply it to your own videos and not just copy exactly what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? I want you guys to live up to your full potential. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on Sunday and I will leave it at that. Peace. In every way